So one of the popular areas of print on demand that you definitely want to focus on right now is the teacher niche. In a couple of months, we're going to come to a popular time where a lot of teachers are buying t-shirts for back to school. So this is a great opportunity for you to spike up in sales by focusing on demanding designs and creating them in this space. So in today's video, I'm sharing with you several designs you can actually learn from and recreate your own version to sell on Etsy. I'm sure it's all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. If you're new here, my name is Jay on this channel. I teach you how to make pads of income online by creating and selling your own products. So if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. So the teaching niche is truly an evergreen niche. However, there are different spikes in the year where a lot of teachers and students just have a lot more interest as opposed to the rest of the year. And we have a time in the year right now that's coming up where we're focusing on back to school. And there are several designs I wanna share with you that you should start creating right now on Etsy. Now, what's gonna make this entire business possible is by using Printify. Printify is a great space for you to sell your print on demand products. They take care of all the heavy lifting for you, like printing and shipping out your product. Now, Printify was so kind to give my audience a discount code for you to use their product in their premium version for free for the next 30 days. If you wanna check out this on your own, I'll make sure I leave all the details in my description box below for you to see if this is best for your print on demand business. Now here is one of the teacher shirts that really stand the test of time, right? We see the overall you know, bracket of the word teacher and obviously we see the specific teacher name on the bottom. And this shirt literally does great all year round. But one of the things we definitely wanna do is learn from this and say, okay, how can I merge these other trends into something like this that can bring something unique into a marketplace that's doing well? So obviously let's go over the data. It is a bestseller in t-shirt, 20 plus people in the cart. It is a basic teacher t-shirt design here just says teacher in multiple colors so i'm definitely looking at that and i see the script font on the bottom here bringing out the teacher's name i'm definitely learning from that and i go to the title as well just to look at the first part of this and it's really focused on that personalization with a teacher name shirt we can go to the sales data and see some things here 16 months old so not too bad right not even two years old accumulated almost 4,000 sales in the lifetime of, of the listing. And again, just in the past 30 days, 238 sales, almost $4,000 in the past you know, 30 days. So obviously we understand that this shirt is doing well and stand the test of time to be something that's evergreen in the teacher niche. But we wanted to go a step further and say, how can I make this different? Just by putting in a specific grade level, maybe on the top, third grade teacher putting in some different elements here like the heart like a pencil or maybe bringing in some retro style designs to what we have here can be something that makes this design stand out so instead of us having just this block teacher text here i can bring in this retro style here add in some flowers and just put teachers so just imagine this just being the teacher block we put in here with some flowers on the side and obviously bringing in that you know personalization that customization at the bottom that can be one easy design style we switch out to make our product stand out above the rest of the competition now one of the things that is extremely useful about using printify is that they have different type of products you can use. I can use hoodies, I can use sweatshirts for this. I can actually go and use some tote bags for this design and even put those designs on a mug. So I wanna share with you just how easy it is to actually utilize these three designs here, a hoodie. I can go to a mug here and I can even go to a tote bag and just share with you how easy it is for you to take these popular designs and to place them on different products that we know to work well and to sell well on Etsy. All right, so here we are in Canva. And one of the things I wanna do is definitely, you know, create a teacher retro shirt that I know will do well because we just saw that data here that worked extremely well. One of the things I like to do also is go back to my examples of t-shirts and just grab over some things that I know to work well. So I see this one here. I just want to actually copy this and paste this over to my design here. And the reason for that is that I always wanna have, you know, my example text 
in the design space so i can stay true to what i see here that works well but definitely create something that's different so instead of me just using this block text here i want to go in and actually recreate this in a retro style way i am using the peace and love font just to bring in this retro style design and i just want to put in here a teacher i have my block of text here i can move this over and shrink this down to size so obviously we know the basic you know teacher is doing well but we wanted to add in something different to bring in our own unique style one of the things i definitely want to do is actually bring in some colors behind here but before i do that i do want to change the color of my text now what i can do to change this color here is to highlight one letter go to the a here where i can pull up my color tool the pick tool here and hover over to the color and now i can grab the exact color of this t-shirt to work in my space here and i do the same thing with all the colors here with the e pick tool to go throughout this entire text just picking the right color for my design all right so i have my entire text changed with the color i have my teacher here but one of the things i noticed to work well with the retro style design is just having that black bold outline to make these letters really pop in color so for me to actually go do that i can go to effects here Go to outline as you can see it has already outlined the color but just in this you know dark greenish color so if i want to change that to black just hit off to black now you see the uh, outline is now black now if i do want to change obviously I mean, the thickness of uh, my uh, outline i can make that larger here if i want or go down just make that as thin as possible but i think having it right here is a great starting place for our design now, one of the things I want to definitely do here is to add in some hearts at the top because we have known hearts to work out well in our other designs here. We see hearts here, some hearts here. And so we know bringing in this heart element is actually something that's working well. And I think we can lay up some hearts right on top of our design to make our product stand out even more. Now, I can jump in to Canva. I can search up some elements here. So I can just put in hearts. And I have a couple of hearts here, but one of the things I want to do is actually have some hearts go all the way across. I want to go back and actually find a standalone heart that I can use to change my entire design here. So I can use this heart here. Now I can bring this up into my design and just lay this out, maybe have five across. So all I'm going to do here is hit control V, which is basically copy and paste, copy and paste again, copy and paste again. And I want to try to have five across. So I have my hearts here. First of all, before I even, you know, group them together, or move them around, I want to evenly, evenly space them out. So I will highlight them, go to my more tool here, and I will go to space evenly, and I will just click tidy up. And as you can see, now they are spaced out evenly. So when I do shrink these down, they are all spaced out the appropriate way. And I want to grab the edge here and space these down a little bit. And I want to have them go across. And then if I think everything looks well here, which I do, I will simply group these together. And now they're one solid piece. All right, now one of the things I definitely want to do is add in these type of colors I see here on my block of teacher. And I want to infuse them colors into my heart here now one of the things i definitely want to stay away from is actually you know being in line with what the colors are in front of the, of the text because that's just going to be too bold with the overall design so one of the easy things i like to do is instead of me starting at the front of my design with my color i want to go to the back so i can merge these colors over in a unique way so for me to change the color here i can just go to the heart head over to my pick tool once again to get the accurate color and change that color there same thing here just go throughout my entire line and change these colors to fit what i have i want to skip over this color here but bring in something that's blue because i don't have that many letters here or that many hearts here go to my next heart change this color to this pink here and change this color to this teal here now as you can see that works out well now I can actually end it here, but if I want to add in some personalization, I can do that. So now I have our script font in our design here, and I can add in that personalization if I so choose. So I can say Miss Jones. And I have that at the bottom here. So I can remove this now. I have this Miss Jones here. I can make this bigger if I so choose. And let's just say if you didn't want to add that personalization to this, that would be okay. Because again, I can add that, you know, perceived personalization in here. So instead of me just having Miss Jones, I can actually put in here third grade. And again, that can be some type of personalization I can add in here without having to go in and actually create a different type of design for every order that's coming in. Now, one of the things I like to do before I actually in my design process is to create two different versions. So I have my black text version. Obviously, this can work well on a 
you know, bright color T-shirt. But if I want to sell a dark color T-shirt, this, you know, design would not work well. So I like to duplicate my listing here and I like to change the black text or the black outlines to white so I can sell this on a bright color T-shirt. I like to start off with changing this background to something dark here. And I like to kind of resemble the shirt I'm going to sell, which is a dark Heather gray shirt. So I want to make sure that my design fits well on that color T-shirt before I even go into Printify and upload that design. So I can go here and change the third grade over to the color white in the outline we had here that was black. I can go into my effects, go into my outline here and just change the color of my outline. I can keep that here. And if I do not want an outline for my design, I can just simply take it off. And now I had just have this here. It's just a personal preference, whatever you choose to do for your, you know, darker t-shirt color that can work well for you. In our case today, I think leaving the outline out is probably going to work best for us. So I think our design will work well. I'm going to have my bright color t-shirt design here and I have my dark color t-shirt design here. I can showcase both on my Etsy listing. Everything is good here. I will go to share, go to download. I want to keep this as a PNG and just have this to be transparent. And I like to save both designs to use on multiple color products. All right, so here we are back in Printify and the shirt that I am selling now or creating with is the Bella Canvas 3001. This is a t-shirt that I'm selling personally in my shop and have great reviews in far as the quality of the shirt and definitely the print provider I'm using, which is Monster Digital and the prints of the shirts are doing extremely well. So here are some information here that we get uh, when we are trying to pick a print provider. A company of the shirt is printing out the shirt. I see the overall price of the t-shirt here, the shipping, the average production time, what areas of the shirt can be printed, the size and the colors here. If everything works out well, I can hit start designing. And I can go ahead and start uploading my teacher design to this product. All I have to do is just drag it over and I have my design in front of me. And now we have that teacher third grade shirt with the hearts. And if I want to add in a different color, I can go to select to add in that dark Heather gray. And notice how it just utilized the same design we use for our white shirt over to our dark Heather gray shirt. If I don't want that to happen, I can go and uh, select this here, we'll make a specific design for dark Heather. I want to remove the black text version. And that's why I say it's always good to name your design so you know what you're working with. And now I'm working with a white text version of my same design here. And I will match them up accordingly. So now I have my black text version here and my white text version here with my design. And I can go into preview and see exactly how this design is going to look. And I think everything is working well with our overall t-shirt design. Now, being that we already have our design uploaded into Printify, this is you know, really easy for you to use that same design into another product that you want to sell that can be just as successful as selling a t-shirt and maybe even easier because there's less competition for certain products. So in our case today, we definitely want to utilize our same design, but use it for this hoodie here, which is the Gildan 18500 fulfilled by Monster Digital. And again, because we already have our design in Printify, we can use that same design here. And again, we're just going to work with the black text version for this design, but I'm sharing with you how easy it is for us to utilize this design. Same thing we made for our t-shirt over into our hoodie design here. And I can see the results of my hoodie. I have this place in the right area and I have this teacher third grade hoodie design that can work well for this specific product. Now, when it comes over to different products, selling a mug is a great product to actually start selling in. We definitely want to merge over our design into the mug space. And again, we're just going to work with the black text version. And again, this is just how easy it is for you to utilize that same design for multiple products. Because we utilize a high pixel count with our design, it's okay for us to stretch this out here and it still keep a great pixel count. Notice this is a design for a t-shirt, but because the pixel count was so high, we can stretch this out and it works well for our overall mug design. Now, one thing that we note about these mugs here, that is a full wrap around design mug that will be from one end to the next. And we can definitely stretch this out even more, but still stay within the bounds of what's going to be printed and see how this will look with the overall design. And we see this being you know printed on the entire space of the mug here third grade teacher and so we see this from the left the middle and the right side of our design and i think this will work extremely well for a different type of product we can sell with the same type design
And finally, we are in our last design space with our product, which is a tote bag, which is very popular amongst teachers and would do great this back to school time of the year. So if I want to go ahead and add my design as well, I can do this here with my design placement and I can add in my design here and I can head over to preview to see how this is going to be printed. And I have my design here. So as you can see, finding these trending designs and recreating them with different products with Printify is really easy to do and can save a lot of time if you are exploring different products to sell on Etsy. Now with this entire business, it is possible by using Printify because again, they take care of all the major work for you, which really allows us to be passive in many ways. And so if you want to get started with Printify on your own, I make sure I leave that discount below for you to check this out and to see this is best for your print on demand business. Now in today's video, I didn't have time to talk about how to actually create a print on demand shop with Etsy from start to finish with Printify. However, if you want to learn my exact step-by-step -step process where you were able to get your print on demand shop up and running, then make sure you check out this next video here. And if you want to learn more about how to make passive income online, make sure you subscribe to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.